if you are looking to use gpus or graphic cards for machine learning or any other purpose on aws ec2 instances then there are a lot of options when it comes to windows and also for linux for instance if you are looking to use a very high-end gpu system then aws has this p series family then uh, where you can do a lot of high performance computing but very expensive too by the way but you, it is very very ideal for deep learning and they have various um, categories of this p family from p5 4 3 2 and then they have this trainium family uh, which uses trainium chips of course again this is also built for high performance deep learning but it offers 50 percent cost to train savings and then they have this um, inf2 systems inf1 systems and then the g series which is powered by graviton 2 processor and also features nvidia t4g tensor core gpus in this video i'm going to show you how you can um, install NVIDIA drivers on these EC2 instances which are using Windows. So remember this, even if you ha um, provision this accelerated or GPU enabled EC2 instances have, and have installed Windows, it doesn't mean that your GPU is being used. So in order to use the GPU, on these systems, you need to have GPU drivers installed. And as these GPUs are from NVIDIA, so you need to install the NVIDIA drivers. For this purpose, to show you how to do that, I will be using this G4DN XLAN instance, which has one GPU and the GPU memory is 16 gig. It is running four vCPUs and one, G one GPU. So let's get started. This is my EC2 instance and it is running G4DN XLARC instance. Now the first thing you need to do is to open the PowerShell as administrator on this Windows system. Then just to check if the NVIDIA driver is installed, type NVIDIA-SMI. It is saying that it is not a recognized command. That means NVIDIA drivers are not installed. Let's close it. And then go to this website, NVIDIA.com downloads. From there, Product type is GE4, which is a model. Product series is this 40 series. And then I have selected the latest one, and my operating system is Windows 10 64 bit. And that's about it. Then you can search it. Once you search it, it will bring you to this page. From there, you can click on Downloads. And it will start downloading the driver to your local system. There you go. So I'll just open the file here. and it is around 700 MB. So I hope that you have a good internet connection, but it shouldn't take too long. So let's wait for it to load and open. And it will ask you to where to extract that driver. So just go with the default extraction path and click on OK. And it will start extracting it as it's a 700 MB file, so it might take bit of a time so let's wait for it to unzip so unzip is done now let's wait for it to come back so there you go its splash screen is here and i have noticed that first time it takes bit of a time to load so don't worry about it don't think that your graviton or whatever gpu accelerated instance is slow it is going to check your system compatibility. Agree and continue for the license. And then just scroll down and then express is fine. And now it is preparing for install. So let's wait for it to give us any other option. And this step take a bit of a time. Sometime I have even seen it running for five minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. It has started installing the graphics driver. And as I mentioned earlier, it takes a bit of a time. So don't get alarmed. Just let, let it run the completion. It is progressing well. It's almost done. And as part of this, it's also installed Visual Studio. 
this install is complete just close it and then now let's check our powershell again just run that nvidia dash smi and this is the output of nvidia dash smi so you can see that now it has installed the gpu it is giving you the driver version and then all the information about your processes and the good thing is that when you're running your load or something you can even run this nvidia dash smi command and it will tell you some of the real-time information about gpu usage which is which can become quite handy if you are trying to troubleshoot any of the performance issues or even if you are trying to check if your gpu is being used or not so this is it guys and i will drop the link to that driver download um, link in video description so that if you want to download you can follow along remember this even if you are using g4 or any a gpu enabled ec2 instance in aws or any other cloud for that matter you need to install the drivers it doesn't come uh, uh, by default with that ami as of now maybe in the future i don't know about it also the same is valid for linux and in the same nvidia's website you can go and download the driver for linux i have a separate video where i show how to uh, install and download the linux driver and i'll drop the link in video's description for that video too I hope that you found it useful. If you have any questions, if you're stuck, please share them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.